I'm already sweating. <sighs> oh my gosh. I do feel like I literally did something bad. Is your full name Madison Nicole Ziegler? Yes. Are you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Mm hmm If you could answer in yes or no. Yes. Are you ready to take this lie detector test? Yes. <laughs> Let's start with your relationships. You and your boyfriend made your red carpet debut recently. So would you say this was a hard launch? I wouldn't say hard launch. I would say we're about to hit three years of dating. So people have known, but I guess that I guess like a red carpet thing is like an official hard launch. So yes. Is launching your boyfriend on social media a very Gen Z thing to do? Yes. How long should you wait in a relationship until you start posting them? I, uh, I mean, I feel like me and my boyfriend waited a few months. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Did you fall in love with your boyfriend at first sight? <laughs> yes. Uninten like, I, I didn't mean to, but I did. You met your boyfriend after you slid into his DMs. <laughs> yes. I didn't slide in his to into his DMs as a, like, in that way. I was just a fan. What did you say to your now boyfriend? Oh. I actually don't remember, but I, I think it was something around the lines of, we had a mutual friend and we all wanted to meet up and hang out. You didn't want to text him? Uh, I, I just think it is a very Gen Z thing to just do the DM thing. Okay. <laughs> was that the first time you slid into someone's DMs? Like in that, like, I've slid into people's DMs before, definitely. Has anyone slid into yours? Yes. Viola Davis slid into my DMs. Really? She's telling the truth. Well, it is true. <laughs> Unless it was a fake Viola Davis. <laughs> I'm shaking. Addison Ray posted that she took a pottery class with you, Olivia Rodrigo, and Devin Lee Carlson. Would you say you're all good friends? Mm-hmm. Yes. Sorry. Who's your favorite? Are you kidding? That can't be a real question. I absolutely don't have a favorite. Has Addison given you any tips on TikTok? No. So you don't think you need her help? Oh, I, I probably need a lot of help, but she doesn't really talk about TikTok. Have you given her any dancing tips? No. <laughs> Do you think she needs your help? No. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs my opinion. Have you given Olivia any dating advice? We've talked about dating, but not... I don't know if I've given her any advice. We've had, like, an open conversation about stuff. I'm not really, like... I don't consider myself a really good advice person. Or maybe? I don't know. You're also friends with Jojo Siwa. She drives this car. Do you like it? It's not my cup of tea, but I know that it makes her happy, and I love that. But do you like it? No. Oh. <laughs> I love JoJo, though. Ooh. Oh. Sorry, I'm a really sweaty person as it is. This is just not helping. That's why I purposely wore a strapless top. She finished on Dancing with the Stars in second place. Mm -hmm. Do you think she was robbed? Yeah, I think she should have won. If you were on Dancing with the Stars, do you think you would win? Yes, but I don't think it would be fair if I was on, because I have too much training. Well, I guess JoJo does too. Do you think it was fair that JoJo competed? Um, yeah, because she doesn't like, she does more singing now, I think. Moving on to your career. You were once named by Time Magazine as one of the 30 most influential teens of 2015, 2016, and 2017. Were you less influential in 2018? Uh, uh, 
Hmm. Uh, I guess so, because I didn't make the list. That was a really strong reaction. <laughs> I'm offended. Do you consider yourself an influencer? Uh, no. Do you run your own social media? I run my own Instagram, yes. Are any of your followers bots? No. Did you buy any of your followers? No. Is that true, Sam? That's the truth. You starred in a series of music videos for Sia. You've said that wearing a wig in the chandelier video made you feel like a completely new girl. Is that true? Yes. Do you still have the wig? Yes. Uh, not in my apartment, but I'm sure my mom has a has one of them. Do you ever wear it? No. <laughs> that would be so weird. Do you have an alter ego? Yeah, probably. I feel like that was my alter ego. Does she have a name? Well, when I was little, um, when I used to get cranky, people would call me Mad Dog. So I guess that is my alter ego. I can get cranky sometimes if I haven't like eaten or something. You are a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. Do you think this woman can dance? Yes, absolutely. That was true, right? Yeah, okay, I was like, I would hope so. How about this woman? Yeah, definitely. What about this man? I don't know if I've ever seen him dance. Sure? I don't know. Inconclusive. It's been six years since you danced competitively. Mm -hmm. Do you miss it? No. Would you ever consider coaching dancers? Maybe little kids. Would you agree with the statement, those who can, do, those who can't, teach? Yes. <laughs> Would you ever be on another reality show? No. Moving on to pop culture. You've said this woman is your favorite actor. One of them, yes. Do you think Tom Holland is good enough for her? Yes. I think they're adorable. Do you think they will last? Yes. Do you watch Euphoria? Yes. Does Euphoria make you glad you were homeschooled? Yes. You have a younger sister, Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. Do you ever boss her around? Yes, but she bosses me around more. Sam, is that true? She's telling the truth. Do you let her borrow your clothes? Yes. It's a struggle, but I do. Does she let you borrow hers? Yes. I'm more generous. Is that a little bit annoying? Mm-hmm. Are you two competitive with each other? Uh, no. So it doesn't bother you that she has more than four times as many followers on TikTok than you? No. She's way better at it. Oh, I'm a good sister. Who's a better dancer, you or your sister? <laughs> uh, me. I didn't have to say that. Oh my God, why did I say that? <laughs> Sorry. You were recently a guest on Hailey Bieber's YouTube show. Have you tried her viral Air One smoothie? Many times. Is it worth the $17? Yes, very much so. You don't think that's too expensive? No, it is expensive. It's it's really good, at it, and I I haven't stopped drinking it, so. Haley likes for her skin to look like a glazed donut. Do you think that's a good look? Mm-hmm. Yes. Have you tried Haley's skincare line? Mm-hmm. Do you like it? I love it. Do you use it currently? I do. What about this woman's skincare line? I've never used it. Have you tried this woman's makeup line? Yes. She's everything. Would you say your line is the best makeup line? Uh, I think it's definitely some of the best eyeshadows for sure. You've said this woman is a role model. Does that mean you read her book club recommendations? <laughs> no. 
Have you seen her TikToks? Yes. She's so cute. Do you think it's a little cringe when moms are on TikTok? Some. I love my mom, but I, she came up on my For You page the other day and it, it made me cringed out for sure. But not Reese. No, I think she's cool. But I'm sure like, you know, her kids would think it's cringe. You're a big fan of UFC, right? Yes. <laughs> so you like violence? I don't like violence. I just, I can appreciate UFC because it's kind of like a dance in a way. Like they have to be very strategic about their movement. Can you tell us the difference between MMA and UFC? Uh, or there's not a difference. There's not a difference. You tried to trick me with that one. It's a trick question. I see that. Final question. Did you lie at any point during the slide detector test and we didn't catch you? No. I'm too scared to lie. I'm scared of getting in trouble. My hands keep sticking to this table and it's making me nervous. Ah!